Are you a snap show? In today's discussion, we want to talk about your composure on the ice. Do you lose your mind? Do you have composure? Are you calm and collected? How is your body language? Today, we're finding out, are you a snap show? Your body language is very crucial to your success as a goaltender. Scouts notice it, teammates notice it, the opposition notice it. How do you handle it when your D screws up? Sometimes they screen you, sometimes they put it in your own net, sometimes they leave guys wide open. A lot of times goalies react with body language that's not helpful. Steve Mason, when he used to play, would do the palms up, look at his defenseman when he gets screened or tipped, not his fault. You don't want to be that type of goalie. Another type of goalie we see quite often are goalies that bang their sticks on the post, crossbar, lose their mind, destroy their stick like Tuka Rask. You don't need to do it. It belittles your game, doesn't show composure, scouts, teammates react negatively to that. You have to have great body language. You have to have great emotional control. You feed the opposition. When you do something like that, you snap, you lose your mind, the opposition notices it and they want to get more goals. So as a goaltender, if you're smart, you need to show emotional control, not snap, have great body language, positive swagger without losing your mind. Now there's two great goaltenders in the NHL in the past and now that I want to call up as examples of people you should follow. Mika Kiprasov of the Calgary Flames is a great example. He'd make the most amazing save. He let in a brutal goal. Defenseman would screw up, wouldn't matter. Next stoppage of play, helmet would come up, he'd get a drink, and you couldn't tell by looking at him whether it was a negative outcome or a positive outcome. That's a guy you should model yourself after. Another great example is Freddie Anderson of the Toronto Maple Leafs. He has perfect emotional control. Doesn't matter what happens, things go bad, things go great on the ice, he keeps even keel, and that's the type of guy I want you guys to emulate. Keep everything even, your scouts will like it, your teammates will like it, and your coaches will like it. Don't be a snap show. Today on Future Pro Goaltending, I want to introduce you to Bree Baker. She's an outstanding goaltender. We're gonna see her during a private lesson, how well she moves, how well she follows the puck. She's destined for greatness. She's going on to bigger and better things. Gonna play college hockey, maybe see her on the Olympics. Today on Future Pro, Bree Baker. Uh, this is going to be my fifth season. When I was younger, I would always watch hockey with my brothers and my dad. And I would always find myself looking at the goalies and not the players. I'd be focusing on what the goalies are doing, like their movements and their saves, not really what the players were doing. I just kind of fell in love with goalie. They did. So when we would play hockey in our basement, they would say that the youngest would be goalie. So I would always have to go in net whenever we play. No, I got quite a few to the face and pretty much everywhere, slap shots. I still want to be a goalie after all of that. <laughs> um, when I was 11. I don't know. Uh, Blue Water Hawks. Um, we're really successful. Uh, we have a great team. The girls are amazing. We are in second right now with one of the lowest goals against. Um, probably my skating and that I never give up. Um, I make the crazy saves that you wouldn't usually see because I never want it to go in and uh, my skating I work really hard on. <laughs> um, probably stick uh, involvement is a little weak because when I first started I, was, I started late so I didn't really get all the basics that starters would. 
My first uh, season of goalie is when I found out about Future Pro. Actually, before I started, I went out and bought um, used goalie equipment and saved up to go to Future Pro. Went to two camps that summer, and I think that was uh, basically how I got to where I am now. Um, definitely play university, whether that's D1 or D3 or somewhere in Canada. Um, I want to go as far as possible. That is a dream of mine. Um, sports marketing. Um, it's definitely Andre Vasilevsky because his saves are just unreal. He's very tall and his skating is, um, is really good too. Uh, he is just a huge inspiration to me. Um, well, when I first started goalie, not to throw my dad under the bus, but he said, you're going to hate it. You're going to let in so many goals and you're just going to want to quit. So I was like, no, I'm going to love it. I'm going to let in a lot of goals at the start, but I'm going to improve and um, I'm going to get better. So that was kind of my motivation to say, hey, like, I'm not as bad as you think. I'm going to show you that I can be better. So that's kind of one of my motivations. Um, they still shoot on me and it's questionable. I sometimes can, but not always. All right. I do. We're going to get out on the ice and uh, kick your butt. So thanks for doing the interview and uh, we'll talk to you soon. See you.